In addition to that, when you see all of these folks that we've arrested, they all actively tried to engage children, babies, in sexual conduct. Most of them traveled. And the only reason that they weren't able to attack a child is because we were working undercover pretending to be children. Well, howdy y'all, Monkey T here. Uh, this here is part three of this latest series I got on these uh, buses, so uh, enjoy watching their grief. But along the way, I wanna talk about our child pornography arrest. Because you see, the overwhelming majority of the people, according to the research that has been presented to me, that deal in child pornography would, if they had the opportunity, engage children in sexual conduct, deviant conduct. So here's Jose Sandoval, he's 34. We arrested him two weeks ago and charged him with 100 counts of child porn. 100 counts. Listen to me, folks. In 2006, he was charged with sexual assault on an 11-year-old child. That's a capital felony. He was sent to prison for only four years, and then he was released in 2010. And then he committed a burglary, and he was sent back to prison, and he was released again. And he's on probation, and his complete date for probation was supposed to be May 17th. Now think about that. How in the world was he able to plea down a sexual assault on a child under 12, which is a capital offense, to four years? But did he appreciate the break of a life? Absolutely not. And two weeks ago we arrested him for 100 counts of child porn. This is a bad man that needs to be locked up for the rest of his life. Because if he's not, he's going to deal with ch in child porn, and he certainly has demonstrated a proclivity to have sex with babies. And then there's Aunt Anthony Schulte. We talked about Anthony back in September when we arrested him for 15 counts of child porn. We just recently added another 185 counts of child porn for a total of 200 counts. Some of the victims in this child porn were as young as 18 months old. That should make you sick. It makes me sick. It makes me sick that he was out walking the streets, but we're glad that he's charged up and not now. Okay, so there's always someone out there that says, well, Sheriff, you know, you arrested all these people and there were no real victims. It was undercover people pretending. Why do you do that? And then there's some that say, well, Sheriff, you know, most of these people are not even from Polk County. Well, I want to suggest to you, does it make any difference to the people in this county or this state or this nation where these sex predators are from or where they're arrested? Do you know I care as much about the children in Alabama and Chicago and California and New York as I do here? I don't want any child ever to be sexually battered. So we will chase these folks to the ends of the earth to keep children safe from them. But when someone doesn't call us and tell us, when they see something or hear something, when we're unable to scoop them up, then we get what we released last week. And this is Jonathan Fundora. We talked about him last week. That's the end game that occurs if we don't do this. So what did he do? For six weeks, he groomed a 10-year-old child. Now understand that we arrested him in March. This child had just turned 10 years of age. He groomed this child. He made arrangements to meet her. So he came all the way up from Miami, rented a Motel 6, set up the room with games, that's right, with games that children should like. Then he picked her up at the end of the street, 
she had left a note on her bed that she was going to be with a friend, with a female friend, and she'd be back in two or three days. Well, her guardian came home sometime later and saw this note and immediately called the sheriff's office. From the time the sheriff's office arrived and determined that we had an endangered missing child and started looking for this child because no one knew where she was, in only 35 minutes from our arrival, which is a miraculous time, we found her. Our patrol deputies found the suspect's vehicle parked at the Motel 6, according to some quick work we did on the internet, and we busted into the door, only to find that he'd already sexually battered this 10-year-old child. And he confessed. He told us, well, I thought she was 14 or 15, like that makes some difference. Oh, by the way, did I add that his password was the victim's date of birth, so he certainly knew that she was 10 years old. And he's dressed up in this silly-looking costume here. He was a manager of a Burger King in Miami. We're going to make sure that the child victim gets the help she deserves, but I truly think our deputies saved this, child, saved this child's life in, from this guy here because many times we know when they finish playing with these children, then heck, they kill them so that they can't be witnesses against them later. So at the end of the day, he never did understand the complexity of his case because he asked the detectives, after you finish taking me to jail, will you give me a ride back to my car? Well, our goal is that he doesn't need a driver's license or a car or a Burger King hamburger because he can't have it his way. He's going to have it our way, and that's in prison forevermore. So that if we don't do this, we get people like that victimizing 10-year-old children. I can't begin to tell you once again how proud I am of the men and women of the sheriff's office. They're simply the very best in the business that go out and seek out these folks because this takes a lot of work. You see, this guy groomed the 10-year-old child for six weeks before he showed up. We have been chatting with some of these folks for an extended period of time before they showed up. So make no mistake about it, right now, this second in time, there are sexual deviants and predators like these out looking for children online and trying to groom them for that end game where we were able to arrest him before he got around to killing the child, but certainly with our remarkable, unbelievably quick response from knowing nothing to finding him in 35 minutes, that wasn't quick enough. Well, there you all go, my friends. More examples of grade A prime human beings. Again, I'd like to thank you all very much for all your support. I do appreciate it all. Anyways. You can see up above here, I put a link for a uh, button there for you to press. If you haven't already subscribed, you can subscribe just by pushing that button. And there's a whole list of other videos you may want to go check out if you like this one. Anyway, y'all have a blessed day. Take care of yourself. You take care of each other. And we'll see you real soon. Bye for now.